Good morning, everyone. I hope that you were able to have a good night's rest and you're looking forward to getting started with your day. So this is a 10 minute morning yoga practice. This is something that I actually do every morning just to loosen up my limbs to make sure that my body is feeling ready to take on the day. And I thought it would be nice to share it with you. These are very simple practices, nothing too advanced. Um, I think early in the morning, you should give your body the chance to wake up a little bit, just get a little in the groove and then add in um, maybe a more intense workout or whatever else that you'd like to practice. So in today's 10 minute class, we're just going to go through some very simple practices. All you have to do is just follow my lead and let's practice all together. All right. So if you're ready, just sit up tall, close your eyes, bring your hands into Gyan Mudra at your knees. And we'll chant one deep Om, inhale. Um. Gently bring your hands together, rub them for some warmth, place them on your eyes, slowly release and come back. All right, so now let's get started with today's practice. Coming on to all fours, we're going to start with Marjari Asana. So just gently come on to all fours of your body, hands down, wrists and shoulders in one line, the knees and hips in one line. Now from here, inhale and start to look up as you arch your spine. Feel the tension releasing in your lower back. Exhale, rounding your spine, chin to the chest and completely inwards. Now, inhale again, arch your spine and feel those nerves opening up. Exhale, round your spine, chin to the chest. Let's continue, third round. Inhale and arch. Exhale and round. Inhale and arch. Take your own time. Feel the lower back and its changes. Exhale and round. And the last time, inhale and arch, exhale and round. Excellent. All right. Now slowly release and come back. So this was our Marjari Asana practice. Let's now add in the Uttan Shisho Asana or the Puppy Pose. So for this, you're just going to adjust yourself. From here, drop the hands down and start to completely go forward. Yes, you're going to feel that on your spine. Chin down and see if you can hold here. Make sure that your knees and the hips are still in one line. Stay here and breathe. One. Two, with each breath, inching forward with the hands. Three. Four, feel your diaphragm and chest expanding. And five. All right. You must have felt that in the shoulders, in your traps. Gently come back. Release and relax. Great. Now from here, we're going to do the dog pose. So we did puppy pose. Now we're doing dog pose. So let's get into it. From here itself, just make sure your hands are placed well. Tuck your toes in. 
and raise your hips up okay so you have distance between your legs and your arms are on your hands are on the mat and you're just pushing against the mat gently see if your heels can be down as you go further try and bring your head closer and closer to the mat all right and imagine someone's lifting your hips up as you go further down with each breath you're going to feel this on your hamstrings hips and your abdomen so suck the belly in and hold one two keep breathing three four and five now drop your knees down release and go into a simple child's pose for just two breaths one and two now head up walk your hands back and come back great so now we finish the dog pose let's add in the next asan which is called either ashwa sanchalan or we're going to do anjani asan so you can pick the variation that works better for you i'll show you both and then you decide which one you want to do okay so from here your hands are on the mat take your right leg forward in such a way that your knee and ankle is in one line and let the left leg just fall flat at the back you place your hands beside the feet and you look up okay so this is opening your hips is helping you to relax your chest is open some of you might only be able to stay on the fingertips that's fine otherwise full palm down look up now if you find this really easy and you want to challenge yourself further you can even go a little deeper in the practice drop your hips down further and do anjani asan with the hands on the hips if you're more comfortable at the chest and eventually all the way up and arching back so choose which one you'd like to do and hold that position in place as you breathe one two and three switching legs as we take the right leg back left leg forward drop the right knee down check which one is feeling better for you sink the hips down and hold and breathe one to let your right hip completely relax and 3 now gently take the left leg back come on to your fours once again and then finally release perfect so i think already you must be feeling a great stretch in your body let's add in one or two more practices to deepen the impact and take it from there so we're going to do baddha kon asana next okay here we're going to join our legs together interlock the fingers and place it under the feet sit up tall roll the shoulders back let the hips fall out and just breathe nice and easy if you need wall support here you can sit up tall against the wall otherwise let your legs drop out keep breathing and hold this posture and as you breathe allow your lungs to expand just to feel relaxed and feel that change in your inner thighs
Now gently release your hands, release the legs and come back. All right, now we're going to practice one standing forward fold just to release tension in our bodies. So let's do that all together, gently changing your position now. And as you come into the standing position, just see if you're comfortable standing up tall. All right. Now, let's do this together. We're going to stand upright. Leave the hands relaxed first. Inhale and raise the arms up. Stretch completely. Exhale, folding from your hips, taking the body down and see if you can just place your fingertips on the mat, okay? So you just wanna first get comfortable, then slowly drop the body down further. Initially, you can keep the knees bent, bring the abdomen to the thighs, palms down, head dropped, breathe and relax. Feel that stretch along your hamstrings, glutes and your whole body and if you like you can straighten the legs out otherwise keep them gently bent as you breathe one two and three all right fingertips on the mat Gently push yourself up into a half position and then gently raise the arms up and back. All right. So that was a gentle forward fold. Now let's just balance out the practice. You're going to interlock your fingers, open the chest. See already you feel that shoulder and chest movement and just push the hips forward and tilt the head back lightly keep looking forward so you don't fall and breathe keep distance between your legs abdomen engaged see if you can go a little further and then push forward release your hands and relax all right so those were some simple practices in the sitting and the standing position. I hope these have helped you to just kickstart your morning a little bit better and just keep doing these every morning so that you have that right blood flow, you have that movement happening in your body and you can take on the rest of the day. So I hope these practices were helpful, simple spinal movements, chest opening and hip opening practices. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and keep practicing. Namaste.